Hey, I hope you are having an amazing day. Let me know how you are in the comments. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I managed to get an A star in A-level biology. If you're taking biology for A-level or you just want some revision tips, keep watching. When I did my A-level biology, I did it with the AQA exam board, but all the exam boards are actually really similar. So I feel like these tips and like my experiences that I'm gonna tell you about is gonna help with any exam board. I am gonna relate everything specifically to biology because that's what I said I'd do in this video, but I feel like some of these revision tips can be applied to other A-level subjects in general too. So yeah, I hope it's helpful to someone. My first tip, which definitely applies to any A-level, is to start your preparation early. I feel like this specifically is good for biology because there is so much content in biology that you need to get through. So definitely start your preparation early. And by that, I mean when you're in year 13 or like when it's the year that you're gonna take your A-levels, make sure you use that Christmas holiday to start your revision so that your Easter holiday is kind of like a recap. This is what I did and it took so much stress away way because obviously you'll have three or four A-level subjects so if you do one or two over Christmas so that in Easter you only have to recap it, it takes so much pressure off. So use your Christmas holiday, I know it sucks, but use your Christmas holiday to start revising. My second tip for A-level biology revision is to use the specification. Now, if you haven't been given the specification from school, it is so easy to find. Just type in your exam board, type in A-level biology, and then specification and literally click on some of the links and it will get you there. The specification has everything that you need to know on it. They are not allowed to ask you something that doesn't come up in the spec. As I went through each topic, I sort of did my revision in order of the specification. So yeah, as I did a topic, I checked all the points on the spec to make sure that I had a good understanding of each one. It's also just a really great like checklist it's just there ready for you so you don't even need to make your own checklist. So I loved using the specification and I would highly recommend that you do the same. My next tip is sort of two tips in one. So firstly, you need to know what each paper contains. What I mean by that is with AQA, when I did it, I had paper one, paper two, and paper three, and the content in each paper was slightly different. Paper three had a completely different style of questions in it as well. So yeah, while you're revising, you need to know what you're actually revising for, like what's gonna come up in the exam that you've got next. Knowing what's in in each paper is going to help you plan your revision timetable, which I'm going to go into next. <laughs> Right, so the first step of making a revision timetable is knowing your exam timetable. Again, this might seem obvious, but it is so important that you know what to expect, the time it's gonna be, because you don't wanna have a mad panic on the day where you've got dates and times and subjects mixed up. Throughout your A-level revision period, make sure you have your exam timetable on the wall in front of you or somewhere that you can easily access it and make sure it's clear, make sure you know what's going on. From that, for your biology A-level, make sure you know when each paper is. Like I mentioned in the previous tip, you need to know what each paper contains. And those dates, times, and the paper that's coming up is going to help you make your revision timetable. So for my revision timetable, like I mentioned, I started in Christmas. So at Christmas, I basically went through all the topics and I decided to get the bulk of the actual biology done. So if you've started the course already, you'll know that biology A-level has got its topics and then it's got a set of practicals that you also need to know the methods and things like that for. So for Christmas, I decided to get all the topics that I'd done at school so far completely revised. So I timetabled in for myself to get all of that done, which then meant in Easter, I could use that time to do past paper questions and also look over the practicals, which I hadn't looked over. That was a really good time split that worked for me. And you just need to find one that works for you. Everyone's got a different way of working. So I'm not gonna be able to tell you how your 
your timetable needs to be. But all I can say is make sure you have one because it definitely helps you keep on top of everything and make sure you're getting what you need to done. A very important point to add in about when you're making your timetable is please schedule in breaks. Please do not just expect yourself to work all day, every day, all of Christmas or all of Easter because that is just not gonna help. It's not gonna be good for you. You'll most likely feel very burnt out within a week or so and it won't help with your exam performance. So breaks are honestly one of the most important things you could possibly do during exam and revision time. In your breaks, honestly, do whatever you love, like go for a walk, do your favourite hobby, spend time with your family, whatever it is, just please make sure that you give yourself breaks. Okay, now that we've spoken about how to kind of organise your revision for A-level biology, I thought I would share some of the revision techniques that actually really helped me in biology. So I've already mentioned that I used the specification like a checklist and I used it to make sure I knew all the content that I'd have to know, but how did I actually go about learning the content? I used a CGP textbook and I used the normal AQA textbook to compare with my notes and the spec to firstly make sure all the information was there. That is just a quick skim read of titles, making sure that everything you need to learn about the topic is there and that you don't need to check for anything extra. That was my first step. Now, my next step when I was revising for A-levels was actually to rewrite my notes, but condensed. This works for some people, and honestly, it does work for me, but I know that for a lot of people, rewriting notes is a huge waste of time, but I just thought I'd mention it because it's something that does work for me. You'll know if it works for you or not. Then, the thing that really, really helped me solidify my knowledge was testing myself. So after finishing a topic, I would literally answer every single question in the CGP guide, every single question in the exam textbook, and every single set of questions I could find online. My favourite website ever was Physics and Maths Tutor. They've got all the past paper questions of A-level biology ever, so definitely check that out. I literally just sat and did them after every single topic because that showed me what sorts of questions I could answer, what sorts of questions or topics I was struggling and would have to go over again. After each topic, definitely do a bunch of questions to make sure you've understood it. Another revision technique that lots of people like is using flashcards. So having a question or a definition on one side and then the answer on the other side. Again, if you like flashcards, that is a great way to test yourself. Then after I tried the questions, I would note down topics that I was struggling to understand and I would find YouTube videos on them. YouTube videos are honestly so helpful for me because it just just explains the topic in a different way that clearly I didn't get in class or from the textbooks. So that's another piece of advice. If you like watching videos and they help you, it is very worthwhile finding videos to explain things that you don't understand. So all of those revision techniques are to make sure that I know all the content inside out. I would definitely recommend knowing and understanding the content as well as you can because it helps so much. Unfortunately, these are A-levels, so just knowing the content isn't actually enough to get you that A-star. So after I made sure I knew all the content, the next step was to do as many past papers as possible and mark them yourself. The key thing there is marking it yourself. So in terms of past papers and where to find them, you can find all the past papers on your exam board's website in your subject section. So you just need to go to your exam board and find all the past papers there. I would recommend that you do them under timed conditions to make sure that it's as close to the real thing as possible. And then, like I said before, mark it yourself. The reason that I say marking it yourself is so important is because a lot of your performance on these exams actually depends on how well you know how the mark scheme works, which can be so annoying because sometimes the mark schemes are so specific and silly, but 
it is how it works and that is how you're gonna get the top grade. Go through the mark scheme, be really strict with yourself, make sure your answer is matching the mark scheme quite perfectly and if it isn't, note those questions down. You could note them on another piece of paper and say what the answer should have been and go through that. If it's a whole topic that really let you down, note down that topic because chances are you might need to go back and relearn it. Marking it yourself shows you a exactly where you went wrong and it motivates you to work harder on that part because you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Okay, another important tip, which I just realized I should have said right at the beginning, is while you're doing your A-levels, you need to stay on top of the work. Like I've already mentioned, A-level biology has so much content. You do not want to be seeing anything for the first time when you're getting really close to your exams. So as school's going on, like as you're doing your learning, make sure that you've got your base set of notes done or your base set of flashcards done as you go go along. I promise it will help you so much. It will remove so much possible stress that you could be having during the exam season if you've stayed on top of it throughout. So yeah, make sure you do that. I'm sure it goes without saying, like make sure you do that for any A-level. Okay, so in terms of getting the A star for A-level biology, we've talked about preparing early, staying on top of your work, using the specification, making sure you know what each paper contains, know your exam timetable and make yourself a revision timetable based off of that. And also I've spoken about some of my favorite revision techniques that really helped me. The last step, I suppose, in getting that A star is actually all to do with how you behave on the day of your A-levels. So you need to make sure that you get to school or wherever it is that you're taking your exam with plenty of time so that you're not in a rush because that will just get you into a panic state that you do not need. And the other thing you need to do on the day is seriously believe in yourself. If you have taken all those steps or all your own steps to make sure that you have done enough revision for this exam and prepare for this exam, you're going to smash it. I promise all it takes is the right level of preparation and you can do it. You can get the grade you want, you can get the A star if that's what you want. So believe in yourself on the day because confidence genuinely really does help your performance. I think that is all I have to say on smashing A-level biology. I really, really hope that some of these tips in this video can help you. Please do let me know if you did find this helpful and let me know what other sorts of videos you'd like to see from me. I post a bunch of university related content, medical school, positivity and lifestyle. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit subscribe. And hopefully I'll be seeing you here soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.